welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is for anyone that's a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you are um, wondering about a Pisces, you're like, ooh, that Pisces is hot. What's their single life going to be like? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. This is the singles reading for the month of July. So how we're going to start with this is how do you see yourself in the month of July in regards to, you know, being single and kind of trying to attract someone. And it's like, this is a good month for self-reflection, going within, thinking about what you want, try really hard to manifest a balanced relationship. The kind of relationship where you get out of it as much as you give into it, and they're like, focus um, on love. You know, like you're seeing yourself as this is the month where I can fall in love with somebody. Maybe you're already dating them, and this is that puppy love, that like euphoria, like, oh my gosh, this could be like my person, like you're so excited to go out with them. It could be love at first sight even. So awesome, <laughs> way to start the reading. Um, how are others seeing you this month, Pisces? Um, well, <laughs> this is interesting. Um, they're seeing you as maybe confused about what you want. And I think a lot of people perceive Pisces to be that way. And um, don't take offense to this, it's just maybe, maybe you do know what you want, okay? But a lot of people see Pisces as kind of going one direction and they're like, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to go this direction, and now I'm going to go this direction, and I want to go this direction. And so it's not a bad thing. It's um, a lot about your free-spiritedness, okay? But people are looking at you like, wait, what do they want? So you might be sending mixed signals out, like, hey, I really like you. You're like, you're really flirty, and then you meet somebody else who's like a little bit cuter, and you're like, oh, yeah. And you just like ghost them. <laughs> it could be that kind of a thing. Um, but... But they're seeing you as just, like, pretty attractive right now. Like, almost, like, glamorous, classy. Like, you'll maybe be getting a lot of comments on how you put your outfits together or your jewelry or your hair. Like, weird things like that. Even on your car. <laughs> um, but some people this month might feel like they don't know how to approach you. Okay? So. Or even if they should, because maybe they think that you are not into them. Okay, so what should you avoid this month? Avoid being unfair. That's interesting. Unfair in regards to um, not giving people chances? Hmm. Let's get more detail on that. Um, until you know what you really want, then it's hard to say, yeah, um, I'm going to give this a chance. I'm going to go on a date with this person, or I'm going to talk to this person, or not, right? Like, because if you don't know, then you don't know if you're wasting their time and your time or not. Okay, anyway, um, what should you increase, grow, or do to attract more love? Really? There's not so much that you have to do. It's mostly about communication with other people. So if you're not communicating with other people, then you should be the person um, to strike up conversations with others or get on dating sites, things like that, okay? Um, make sure you're looking cute when you go out places because <laughs> people are going to see you as cute. Um, what is working for you this month? Oh, this is interesting. Um, what's working for you is that it's a big, big ocean full of fish in the sea that are probably compatible with you. And, um, you know, you're not overconfident either. You don't come off as arrogant or an asshole. Basically, destiny or fate is kind of working in your favor, which is great. Um, and like, it's kind of a drama free month. So good. Um, whoa, whoa, there's a challenge here. And so the challenge is not to tie yourself up to um, things or people that are toxic or bad for you. Like you know it, but you enjoy them. So you do it anyway. And that could definitely be an X. Um, but like something that kind of threatens your stability. So just a word of caution for you. What is the overall outcome in the month of July? Um... Okay, so two things. If you're kind of like emotionally imbalanced, then things will be hard for you um, as far as like attracting somebody new, okay? Because other people are going to sense that. They're going to read into it. So if you can go within and figure out what it is that you desire, what you want, um, then that's good. But, but 
Otherwise, if you don't, you're kind of being unfair to yourself. Now, if you can do that and things kind of come into balance, okay, like your emotions and all of that, everything else outside of you, whether work is going right or wrong, whether your home is going right or wrong, whether you have tons of money, not a lot of money, doesn't matter, then offers are going to be coming in. Now, maybe your attention will be directed at those other areas of your life, but at least then they're coming. Okay, so we have to be very clear and specific about what it is that we want. Now, what are the lessons that we're learning in the month of July for Pisces? Individuality. You know who else had this? Was Scorpio, another, wa another water sign. Just like living in your own uniqueness, leaving your stamp of love on everything that you do. You'll be recognized for it. Um, see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.